Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So, today guys, we are going to continue with that Volkswagen Scirocco. This is part three on that car. Um, I have had someone have a look at it and he did say it just needs, and I've got a lot of, I was getting some comments about this last night as well on the, the part two on the Scirocco build. Um, basically, the little the little tappets, the little springs or whatever, need to be filled up with oil. Um, and he said, once it's running for a while, <coughs> the um, the oil will then distribute around the engine top, and um, it will gradually just settle, um, and it will gradually just you know just be fine after a while. But you got to keep it running. And because I just you know started hearing those tappet noises, and 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 I thought, oh no. And he, and he said, but it's running. Like, that's a good thing. Do you know what I mean? But for me, I was sort of panicking a little bit. He said, no, 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 it's fine. He said, just keep it running. Um, and then, obviously, it will just sort of settle down and it should be should be good after that. So, today, um, we are going to get out there. We're going to put it all back together. Um, and we're going to see if, you know, it's okay. And I'm going to take it for a test drive as well, just to see what it's like and stuff like that. So hopefully, this will be the last part on that Volkswagen Scirocco. This is part three, and, and we should be able to get it done for her. So, yeah, um, I have got to change the battery on that car because it, it when the alternator snapped, the, the auxiliary belt snapped, um, it completely drained the battery because um, <clears throat> it weren't charging the battery from the alternator. Um, so it's absolutely killed the battery. But apart from that, um, I think we just can put it all back together. So, let's get outside, let's do this. Right, okay guys, just before we get outside, I just wanna quickly note um, on this car, the Focus ST, um, I, ha I am getting stuff done in the background, behind the scenes, um, whilst you know I'm doing the Scirocco, bits and pieces for this can be sort of turned up, parts or whatever. Um, I have taken off this wheel. That's gone to um, a, a machine shop, a, a welder, to be repaired, the wheel, because it had a little dink in it, weren't happy. Um, so that's gone to be repaired. Um, in the meantime, um, I have a blue ST bumper that's turned up, up there. So we'll have to get it painted. It was the only one I could find, really, that was, um, that was worth getting. Um, my tyres are turned up. So we've got four brand new tyres. Uh, they are mid-range. They're not like um, um, Michelin in Pilot Sports or anything like that. But, you know, they are they are a mid-range tyre. And they're brand new. All four brand new tyres. So, yeah. That is what I'm going to put on the, um, the new alloy wheels when we get them refurbed. So I'm going to take them all off. And they're all going to get done. Um, all stripped back, acid dipped, they're all going to get treated, um, all the rims are being redone and, and sorted out and, and straightened, um, and then they're going to go uh, like a grey, they call it amosphite or anosite or something it is, like Ford grey, it's got like a, a, a nice sort of um, a pearl effect on it as well, it's, they're really, really nice wheels. I've, I've done them before in the past on, on Fiestas and stuff like that with this colour, and I think it just comes out really, really nice. So, yeah, I'm going to take it away from the black and put them on this grey. Um, but, yeah, just want to quickly give you an update on that. So, let's get outside. Um, let's get cracking with the Sirocco. And, um, yeah, see if we can um, get this all wrapped up today for her. Put it all back together. You know exactly how it should be. Um, just check everything, check everything over, um, and then take it for a good, good drive, good run. Keep it running, he said. Um, and eventually, the tappets will be. You know, it, it'll be. He said it'll be absolutely fine. It's just, it's just, you're just panicking a little bit. <laughs> and I was, I got to be honest. As soon as it started to run, I was panicking a little bit. Um, he said, like, every, you know, some bits are still disconnected. You've got EGR, EG, EGR uh, pipe still not connected there. Um, and various bits and pieces and other bits and pieces not plugged in. This is not plugged in there. And 
Um, so yeah, all, all sorts is going on. So it's going to affect it a little bit. Um, I know I was getting some sort of comments as well. People saying, oh, you should take off the sump. It's never going to be right. It's never... And, um, you know, it, some guy was messaged me last night and turned around and said, I'm sure in the manual, it doesn't say use cable ties. But I never used a manual for this. I never mentioned anything about using a manual. So why he said that, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, tilly boy. <clears throat> anyway, let's get set up. Let's get this back together. Um, and uh, let's hopefully get this done for her today. So yeah, let's do this. Right, okay, guys, making some really good progress. Everything's going back the way it should um, it come off. And um, I'm comparing pictures, I'm looking at pictures, I'm comparing it to see what it was like when I first took it apart. Um, and yeah, it's really going well. I did have someone have a look at it um, and he said, no, 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 that's absolutely fine. It sounds really, really good. So um, there's nothing to worry about, basically. Um, which I was, I've got to be honest. Um, but, uh, nah, he said it's absolutely great. He said, uh, just uh, box it all back up, put it all back together. He said, and just run it for a while, and you'll see that it'll gradually, it'll sort of settle down. Um, obviously, with the oil going into the, you know, the, the new cams and the new um, 
rockers just needs to settle in um because i haven't actually changed the lifters i've only changed the rockers um so it just needs oil going all around the cyst going the head and going around the system and stuff like that and it, and it will just settle down so yeah that's why i've just been sort of going all over it and, and then basically stripping it stripping it right down and sort of making it sort of back together again um i'm not quite sure where that oh that goes see once you start putting things back together that goes there and then that plug goes on there so i've just just figured that figured that out actually so that's good so we'll do that next but we'll still some bits and pieces we'll do this connection here we've got to do the um egr egr pipe which is that one there which i don't know if you remember but it was absolute filth that and i've cleaned it up the best i can in there so that should help it um you know just help it out really so let's keep going i'm going to get this pipe on do all the bits and pieces get the battery in place and then i'm going to run it and leave it running so it just warms up and it just sort of get, goes around the system and uh yeah it's uh it's going really well guys i'm really really happy with the way it's going so far and um, we have got a new battery for this because the original one she just killed it absolutely killed the battery uh basically it was this is the original one here um it is a start stop battery and um before this happened because i spoke to the customer she was having problems with this battery kept get, having to get it charged so they knew at some point it had to be changed but when she um when the, the auxiliary belt snapped it wasn't pulling any power from the alternator and it just absolutely killed this battery i've tried to, to sort of charge it for her save her a few quid um i've tried to charge it over about three days now and it just won't have it so it is completely dead so i've got a new one here that i'm going to stick in for her um just had it delivered um so yeah you know get that in get all the little bits and pieces back together um and then we can run it so let's keep going let's do this Right, okay, so guys, we are completely back together. Everything's been buttoned up, tightened, um, everything's been sorted and put back on. Um, but we have still got a bit of an issue with this car. So basically, um, down there, you can just see it there. Now that is the tensioner for the auxiliary belt now i know because the original the owner has told me that the auxiliary belt snapped went into the actual you know timing messed up the timing inside the you know and all that sort of stuff that's what this is the reason why because that tensioner is had it um and then this was <laughs> this tensioner has caused all these problems um basically it's too slack it's too it's not tensioning properly um it's not it's not the bolt the bolt's not been undone it's just that it's too it's it's there's too much play there and it's it's bouncing this auxiliary belt all over the place it runs because i just had it running but that is causing a lot of problems and i think that was the cause of all this that started to go so the auxiliary belt started to sort of flap around a little bit when, it, when it's running it's just bouncing all over the place it's running so that's shredded 
gone up into the actual timing, knocked it all out, out of place, done the top end, and all this was because of that tensioner. Now, I didn't know about that tensioner until, you know, we because there, there, was, there was no belt on there, so I didn't know um, about it. Um, and, yeah, um, I think what we've got to do now is take that off, <clears throat> get a replacement, and then just see what it's like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this belt off, take off the actual um, tensioner itself, um, and then um, see what it's like, see what the play's like, see how it is. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll get it off. And it, I'll, I'll order another one. <clears throat> we'll get that on. And that should be our job done. Don't want to carry on. Don't want to put all the, no plastics in here at all until we get this resolved. Um, so bear with me and I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, okay, guys, let me show you. I took the belt off and the tensioner. Um, well, the pulley, not the actual tensioner. The tensioner is this here um, and it is really loose. Nah, that is our problem and i think this is the whole pro this is the whole reason why this car has done this someone's changed this pulley already look so that's new that's brand new that is um so that's already been done but that wasn't this wasn't the issue the issue was that there now to get that off <laughs> i've got a get right down in between the alternator right back in there in between there's an alternator there's a bolt going through that holds it from that side so it goes through and i have to undo it from this end but to undo it from this end i need to get the space so i've got to get this cowling off get this fan out of the way to get that out of the way i've got to get the airbox back out of the way so i'm going backwards a little bit but guys it absolutely runs lovely look, look at this look Absolutely sweet running really really good so that was the issue all along was that was that pulley so yeah unbelievable isn't it so we're getting close we are getting close to getting finished this run but it's not done we're not done yet we are not done yet <laughs> so we gotta go Oh dear, we've got to go backwards because there's just there's no room there. I can't, there's no room to get that bolt out. To get, I need to get that fan out of the way. Um, so, yeah, let's just keep going. Um, I could, if I wanted to actually, I could drive this into the, onto the ramp now. Should I do that? Should I just drive it on inside now? I've got to put the wheel back on, drop it down onto the floor, and it'll run. It'll move. All right, let me do that. Let's get it inside. I'll get the Focus, um, the, the ST, out of the way for the moment. Get it out of the way. Let's get the car inside on the ramps. That way I can move it up and down freely, um, and I've got more better access, better space. Um, and, yeah, I think it would be better to do that. So bear with me for now. Let me get the wheel on, get it on the floor, get it in here, and then I'll set you up on the tripod, and we are going to be doing that idler, um, that tensioner pulley. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just absolutely shot, so we have to get another one of those. So, yeah, bear with me, guys, and I'll see you in a bit.
Right, okay. So guys, let me show you what I've been doing. Um, so the bolt for the tensioner is right up there and there's a hole to get the bolt and the thing in. So let me just see if I can get you up there. Can you see that hole right there? That is what I need to get to. Um, and it's becoming a real pain. There's just not enough space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this um, a, um, air conditioning um, compressor here. Three, I think it's three bolts. One there, one there, and one at the top. Um, and that should give me enough room then to move that out of the way to be able to get up there. Because at the minute... I just, I just, there's just no room to do it, guys. I've got to strip some more down, but what a pain. I've got to take out the air pipe as well, into the intercooler pipe as well off. Those pipes have to come off as well. But, um, yeah, a little bit more stripping down, and I think I'm going to be able to get to it. Uh, the actual tensioner uh, is on its way, so let's see if we can get this out of the way and get that bolt off. So I'll set you back up. Let's keep going. Let's do this. You see guys, this is why <laughs> I bought the car inside because I knew at a certain point in time it was gonna rain today. So I haven't now got to do it outside in the rain. I could do it inside the workshop. So yeah, let me show you what I've done. I've removed the old one. This is the old tensioner and that's the new one there. It comes preloaded. It's got its own pulley and a pin. Um, so you just pull the pin when you're ready. You just turn it a little bit, then pull the pin, and then it's done. So yeah, there's just there's just there's a little bit there's just too much wobble in this, so it just kind of fouls inside, I suppose. Somehow, um, yeah, I don't know, but it's being changed. It's getting done, and I'm sure that was the whole reason why this car has failed with. As soon as the auxiliary belt failed, it got tangled into the tire belt, and then it got to, then the top end got smashed to pieces. The the, the lifters, the, the 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 you know, so all this problem was because of that tensioner. So let's do the reverse. Let's get the new one back in. It was a bit of a pain, and I had to remove the alternator um, uh, alternator uh, condenser. The compressor, <laughs> sorry, it's getting late, guys. That's why I'm starting to forget words and sort of not. <laughs> Just to... But this is this is me. This is it. This is how it happens. Um, you know, it's not. It's not. It's not edited. It's just how, how you say it or how you hear it is how it happens. Let's uh, let's get this back together. Get it running, and then um, yeah, it should it should be done. Fingers crossed, this is it. Right, I've set you up. Let's get cracking. Let's do this.
Right, okay, so guys, we have done it, finally. So, yeah, a lot, lot smoother now. There is a little bit of vibration coming like, like but, but it's on the spring and it apparently is supposed to do that. It's supposed to very slightly move backs and forwards. So that's exactly what it's doing. Um, and that, that, that tensioner, that cools the whole problem. Because that caused the belt to go at a different, you know, juggle about a little bit. Then it caused the, the belt to snap, then break, then just, just carried on and on and on. So, yeah, the whole problem was this. But I didn't know it was that until I kind of put it back together and, and got it to run, basically. So, I think success. Let me turn it off because it is a diesel and it is loud. Um, so, yeah. And it is still raining, as you can hear on the roof. Um, but yeah, what a success. Absolutely smashed it, guys. Um, it just shows you, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? If, if Don't get me wrong, that could have gone completely wrong. That could have gone bad. You know, the, the, the valves could have been bent and it could have, you know, it could have gone all, all gone wrong. So really, really lucky that she didn't bend the valves um, and she only smashed the rockers on the top of the, in the, in the head. So yeah, right, okay, that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up, I'm gonna put the cover underneath, I'm gonna put the wheel arch in, put the wheel on, and that's it, this car is done. She can have it back, um, she's been, I'm, I'm, she started the new job, so she really needs her car back, so she can go back and forth to work. She's hiring a car at the minute, but I've done it success and um yeah she can have her car back um as soon as she can get over to me basically so yeah what a result right okay guys that is it that's the end of today's video and the end of this project we've done it so thanks for watching guys don't forget to drop me a comment down below give the video a thumbs up i really appreciate that and i'll see you guys tomorrow on the next one Take care. See you soon.